Hey guys, welcome to another Two Pets Tech video. Today I wanted to share my print test results from using my Instax SP2 and maybe provide you with some tips for printing. Now one of the benefits of the printer is that you can print from either your phone or a compatible Fuji X camera. The first thing I wanted to test was a printout comparison between printing from a Fuji X camera versus printing from the app. So this is an image taken with the Fuji XE3 and either transferred to my phone or printed from the camera itself. Now you might not be able to see it here but basically there's no issues with image resolution. They look exactly the same. Now uh, what you might be able to tell is that the colors don't look quite right. The image is very cool and the colors look a bit muddy. So what I thought is I wonder what the app can help with. So the app actually has this thing called the intelligence filter and so I thought I'd grab that same image and just see what the intelligence filter alone can do. Now uh, looking at the comparison we can see that the colors look a bit better but unfortunately the intelligence filter has blown out a lot of the subject's face and we've lost a lot of detail in the highlights of the face. The colors look alright but they do look a little bit washed out. So knowing that I thought I'd take this image so apply the intelligence filter to it but also apply some of my own tweaks. Now, so what I did was in the app, you can change brightness, saturation, and contrast. So with this image on the right, what I did was apply the intelligence filter, dialed back the brightness by minus 20, and up the saturation to plus 25. Now we can see that in comparison to this washed out image where a lot of detail is lost on the subject's face. This image is a lot better and I'm quite happy with that. You could see all the detail. I mean the shadows are still crushed but I think that's an Instax thing. And um, the colors are nice and punchy without being over the top. So um, let's just have a look to see um, what the image would actually look like on a computer screen. Now you can see that that color is very, it, I mean it's borderline over the top, if not completely over the top. So that's something to be um, aware of when you're printing. So what tips can I give you for printing on the Instax SP2 and on Instax Mini Film? Well, there's three tips I can give you. One, uh, make sure you warm up your images. The film is daylight balanced, so cooler images don't seem to look as nice. They look a bit muddy and very cool. Number two, make sure you brighten up your image. You know, apart from crushing the shadows, skin tones look muddy when they aren't bright enough. So uh, my tip for uh, faces is to get the skin close to blowing out and then dial it back a smidge. And that usually gets you to a good amount of brightness. And finally, up that saturation. I think Instax Film loses a bit of saturation compared to what you see on the screen. So if it looks over the top on your screen, then it should be just right on the print. Now, just as a final test, because one of the benefits of the SP2 is that you can print straight from the camera. Uh, I applied the same tips that I've just told you on my Fuji XE3 image in camera uh, using the camera raw converter. So what I did was with the original image I brightened it up by one and one third stop, switched to the Velvia simulation which really punches up the colors and switched to the fluorescent lighting white balance. So the original image was taken in shade but what I found was that the shade white balance setting uh, didn't quite get it to that level of um, 
of color that I wanted. So uh, actually that's the wrong one. Let's compare. So we've got the image converted in camera with my new settings. And here's the one from the app and tweaked plus the intelligence filter. So they look quite comparable. I must say that the the camera image looks a little bit warmer. So maybe the white balance setting of shade is probably appropriate. But um, yeah, I think with these two images, uh, I'd be happy with either one. Uh, I guess if I had to choose, I'd prefer the image from the app now that I've tweaked it. Anyway, hopefully you've been able to learn from my trial and error and stay tuned for more Instax related videos. Oh, and there's a teaser. I got myself one of these. And yes, it is an Instax hybrid camera. It's not the latest one, but I got it for a good deal and I can't wait to um, do some videos and shoot with it. So stay tuned for that. All right, see you next time. Bye.